Welcome everybody. Today's video we get to go see this. This is one of the uh, most holy places in all of Myanmar. This is the Xuanzhagon Pagoda or the Xuanzhagon Paya. And this was built by the first king of Bagan or B Bagan back in the day, King Kaya Shuntia. I think is how you say his name was. Anyway, they started construction of this in 1059 to 1060, somewhere in there. And it's what they say is the prototype for the Mon style chetis. It was the first one. And it was completed by his son. He died and then his son finished it in 1102. And uh, it's been damaged by earthquakes over the years. It's been refurbished. But what's sacred about it is they say it has uh, the bone of the Buddha as well as a tooth. And uh, there's some questions about it because the relics have never been found in all the restorations. So they think it might have been stolen by looters over the years, but either way it is still a sacred place for them. They, uh, they, the, the Mons and the Buddhists come here and they think it has like a force field and will uh, bring them good luck and health and all of that stuff. So anyway, we're going to walk around and we're going to check this out and see what we see. Entranceway has all the, the murals, the scenes of the Jataka, and the people are down here selling some things. It has some stuff written in Burmese. It looks like here it might be like the dimensions of the pagoda, things like that. So when you walk up right out next to that covered walkway, they have uh, a couple of these little chetties. And you can see the big one over there. So inside of here, let's take a look really quick. We have a little Buddha and it has some murals right behind it. Yeah, this is pretty neat. And right over next to it is this little building. And it looks like it has a really nice reclining Buddha. Yeah, they have it gated off. So you see the reclining Buddha here and then it has the murals and stuff behind it. That's really nice. I uh, can't see it too well because of the, the fence. And it looks like there's just a lot to see here at this place. So we have uh, another little chetty here. We have the drums. And we haven't even came up close yet to the, uh, the pagoda. Oh, this is interesting. I'm not sure what this is. But it looks like it might have been the top of the stupa, that little hiti. I'm not sure if that's what it was. And they might have put down here. But it looks like now they have like the spirits praying to it. May you be from free from five enemies is what it says on the bottom. And then we have a, another little chetty here. A guy tooling around here on his motorcycle. They have this chetty underneath this building. And then inside of it, this is something in Burmese right here, is a Buddha. And it's right in front of the, the Bodai leaf thing. Yeah, and it's uh, painted gold. And you gotta get down on your knees to go in here and you can actually pray. So here is the massive chetty. How amazing is this? Yeah, that is quite cool. It's a popular place for people to come and take their pictures. And then there's a lot of people here to pray and do all the things. Just take a look around here. So you got the lady carrying the stuff up on her head. Let's walk around the base here and see what all is here. So you have the big like alms bowls here. And then you have these little chetties. Now the legend of this temple here is when the king wanted to build this, King Anawatara, or however you say it, he selected this by putting the relics of the Buddha 
on the back of a white elephant and then he turned it loose and he let it walk around here on the plains at Bagan. And where it stopped, they decided that was the place to build the temple. And that's what the Shui Zagon means. It means the, uh, I think the literal translation is like the stupa on the sand dune. And that, that elephant stopped on a sand dune here. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, this is a nice little shrine also. So they put those little pieces of gold or glass in these columns and it has a red ceiling. The styling here is so much different than what I'm used to seeing in Thailand. There are some similarities with like the, the pagoda because you will see some Mon style pagodas in Thailand. There's been a lot of Mon that have moved into Thailand over the centuries. And with them, they brought their same style of construction. Let's have this little building with one of these standing Buddhas in it. And you can see it has the Buddha footprint down at the base. And it's just in one of these little buildings. We have this little building over here with these figures. And then have the, the big gong. And some birds up here in the, that have nested. Not sure what these represent. You can see the Burmese, they put that powder on their face. And what it is, is it's from a piece of uh, wood. They scrape the bark off on a piece of stone and then they apply it to their face. They use it as a natural, uh, like a beauty aid. Yeah, this place is really, really cool. Has this little tablet here that says something. Now in Myanmar, they use these uh, lions. They don't do like the elephants and the naga, stuff like that. They use the lions. And so this has lions on the corners. We have this right here. So they've been burning the candles and all of that. But the lions are seen as like really strong. So that is their, I guess their protector. Let's see what's up in this little building. This lady was uh, doing some hollering. Okay, so right here, what we have, these are some of the gnats. <laughs> so there are 37 knots, gnats around here. So I guess this is the father. And then also over here is the son. And they are, I guess they're part of like their version of the Indra. So we'll keep walking around. Hopefully we can beat the rain. It's just starting to rain a little bit. We've been pretty fortunate. It's been raining at night while we've been here in Bagan. So it's our luck that we come to the most sacred temple and it starts raining a little bit. So this here looks like another one of the gnats. And next to the little gnats. So when you go to any of these places, there's a lot of the locals that will be here and they will like try to sell you the gold leaf to put on the Buddhas or they'll try to explain things to you or they'll have the kids running around. It's all part of the experience. What's in this little building here? So it says something above the door and it has some more of the Burmese writing over here. Looks like in here we have a, another little Buddha. And it's here so the locals can come over and pray. Yeah, there's no shortage of uh, the Buddha images at this temple. And back over there is uh, one of the gates. Let's go look at it. I wanna see those uh, big lions. So these are the lions that will be the guardians to the temple. And there's two of them here. Yeah, these are fantastic. And it's just right out here. This is the, this is outside. I think this might be like where the monks and stuff can stay. And then it just goes off into people's houses and stuff like that. Of course, we've got some chickens over here. And these lions are really cool. So when you're driving around in these places, like in Mandalay or down here, you'll just come across these lines. They'll be kind of in the road and you gotta drive around them. And when you're in this temple, you can't wear your shoes at all. So all this stuff, you gotta walk around barefoot. And then uh, here is the, uh, the temple wall. And it has some of these little chetties. Yeah, that's really cool. You can see more of how the temple wall is built over that way. And on the back side of this chetty, there's some of the Buddha images also. They have a nice bell over here. 
and then a cool looking Chetty. And they also have, looks like some spirit houses and stuff like that, which is what the ties will do. They'll put those spirit houses out there to where they can leave donations and stuff for their ancestors. This little pagoda is fantastic. You can see the way they did the bricks and everything. I wonder if there's an entrance over here. Yeah, it looks like there is. Oh, let's see what we got going on here. Looks like there's nothing inside. They just have some debris in there. Okay, so I've been kind of walking around the outside of the pagoda so we can see some of the outer buildings. Now let's go and we'll see if we can go up on the pagoda. Now they say this is a solid core of the pagoda, but they say there's also like a labyrinth of uh, little tunnels and stuff. So you can pay some money to the temple and go in there and apply like the gold leaf and stuff like that. And you can get like a special blessing. I'm not sure if you can go up there or not. I don't know what these guys are doing. They're taking pictures, but that one guy looks like he's cleaning. Yeah, they have the gate closed and locked up. Same as up there, so they must be part of the workers or something here. And a big drum over this way. And over here behind the glass, they have a seated Buddha underneath the Bodai tree. And then the monks are praying to him. So it looks like they, that guy has a stick, so they might be like uh, pulling out like little trees and stuff that start growing on it. Too bad I would like to have been able to climb up there and look around. They have the old drums. I'm not sure what that says, it just says something in 1517 group. Some really nice teak wood buildings and has a drum underneath. And then some of the locals here. Yeah, this is one of the most sacred places because it does what they say has the tooth and the the bone of the Buddha. So all the Buddhists will come over here and uh, and pray. Yeah, this is a nice image also. And we have another reclining Buddha that's in this little metal cage that they made out of rebar. And another little shrine here. Yeah, there's stuff everywhere at this temple. This is really quite fun. And we have another one of these little brick chetties. This one here looks like it's cleaned up inside, so let's see what's in here. Oh, we have a, another little seated Buddha. Has the little cove there. You can see how this chetty is constructed. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And then we have a Another little bell-shaped chetty. Another look at this fantastic temple. Now this was damaged pretty heavily, I guess, in the earthquake in 1975. So they had to reconstruct it. I think the top was damaged. And then what they did is to shore this up is they put 30,000 copper plates up there around the top of the chetty. But they left the bottom part alone. The bottom part didn't need any remodeling. And I've seen some pictures of it. So I'll try to stick a picture or something like that in the video of what it looked like when they were remodeling it. And then here's one of those little towers. They do this here in Myanmar. They have these towers. It's kind of like the Chinese temples that have the tower that connects heaven to earth. And we have like another little shrine over here. And that's just kind of cool. They have a little Buddha right at the base of that chetty inside. And then they have these like these uh, mythical bird things here. And then here we have a Buddha with, uh, it looks like they're the Naga. One Naga and then some of the, the big giants. And he's riding uh, an elephant. And then we have a bird and a lion. Yeah, this is neat. Okay, so here we have another little shrine with another one of the standing Buddhas. 
So here we have a monk doing some chanting. So this here says it's a wooden door with the carvings of uh, musicians from 1089. So this is early on when they were constructing this temple. Because it took the son of the king to finish this temple. That's how massive this is. And we have some more of the little shrines and stuff here. So here looks like a picture of whenever it was damaged by the earthquake and some of the restoration and stuff like that. Yeah, I've seen a picture of this temple from like 1885 also, and it looks so much different than it does now. I'll try to find that again and stick it in the video as well. So it does look like you can get up here somehow. Not sure what you got to do. We have another one of the images behind the glass. And here's one of the standing Buddhas. And it has the small images down at the base. Here's another one of the standing Buddhas. They're supposed to be about 3.7 to 4 meters tall. Okay, so I figured out that you can't go up there. Those were the guys checking the gold leaf on the pagoda. But you can come right to this little section here and stick some gold leaf on the base of the chedi. Yeah, those guys were checking it out after the rain last night to see if it was damaged. So they were climbing all over it. I was kind of curious about what this is. What they did right here is they put a hole in the ground and then they put water in it. And what it's for is it was for the king. When the king comes here for the ceremony, he can't look up to the pagoda because of his crown. So he can look down and see the reflection of it in that little deal of water. So they made this special for him just for that one reason. Over here they have some alms bowls for uh, people to make donations here. So I guess I beat the rush. I was lucky. I climbed in there. Now they call this the Lucky Buddha. So everybody climbs down in there to get a look, good look at it and stick the gold leaf on. There's a big queue now. So that's going to finish up our video over here at this Shwedgan Pagoda or the temple here. The, the temple on the sand dune, I guess is the translation. This was uh, finished in 1102 and it was built, you know, started out in like 1057 to 1060, somewhere in there by the first king of Bagan. So this is a really an important site here for uh, the Buddhist. It supposedly has the bone and the tooth of the Buddha, so that makes it extra special. So anyway, this is a cool place. It's a lot of fun. I probably just scratched the surface here, so I could have made this video a couple hours long. I'm going to walk around here and enjoy a little bit more of it, but uh, you got to see it, uh, my first look at it also, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, if you liked it, make sure you smash like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. This is what I show you, things that I see and tell a little bit about what I know. So if you enjoy that, then stick around and then you're notified when I post a new video. And leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you've been here, let me know in a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them or I'd like to hear your opinion of this also. And definitely smash the like button, all that stuff helps me. And from over here in Bagan, Myanmar, remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.